Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Farming Simulator 19 here on Clark Farms. This is Virtual Farmer Ken Bob. And today we had a plan to go ahead and start with our corn and our soybean planting. As you can see on the seasons map soybeans and corn have just become available and problem is we've got rain so in light of this particular issue we're gonna go over here and jump into our pickup truck and let's let's head over to our cattle farm or some might call it the beef farm or the <laughs> I'm not sure exactly but uh, it's just basically our non milking cows our feeder farm I guess it would be that's probably the word I'm looking for I'm not even sure if that's right so if I'm wrong put leave me a comment let me know I did not know they were going that slow or I wouldn't have waited. I keep forgetting that uh, in this game, cars only go about 20 miles an hour, if that. Even though the speed is supposedly 55, I think. Okay, we're gonna get over here and hop out and let's take a look at the situation here with the feed and the water and all that good stuff. And of course, here we are with our famous cows in the road. Oh, they're coming towards me like I've got gold pearl uh, gold pellets or something like that <laughs> I'm sorry I'm coming to bring you food but I don't have anything in the truck so we'll park right here and get out and turn the water on even though it's raining and there's a wonderful wonderful pond right down there Uh, let's see. Okay, we're fairly good, but while we're here, let's just top everything off. That way we don't have to come back later. Oh, looky here. We still got a trailer of manure we were going to spread. I think we were gonna put it on that uh whoops we were gonna put it on that other grass field over here eh, it's already showing growth so it wouldn't do us any good now so we'll just run it up here maybe We're not going to dump it out. I don't know if it's a wise choice in real life anyways to leave a trailer full of manure just sitting there loaded. But that's I think what we're going to do is just pull this trailer under this barn.
that way we're ready to go the next time we uh, need to spread manure oh there's those magical cows walking through my trailer excuse me come on there you go We're backing up like a 25 foot python here. It's gonna coil our way back. Okay. Got that trailer dropped off. Now let's go down here and pick up the TMR trailer. It should be loaded. I think in the last time I was down here, I went ahead and loaded it up whenever I put it over here. Yep, it's loaded. Good. So let's take it down here. We'll run our steep little course. Listen to them ponies. Alright, dump this off right here. Like we got some kind of a graphics issue there. Not sure if that's the sand trying to materialize underneath that feeder or what's going on there. Looks like there's enough left in there. We should probably be able to go ahead and top this trailer off. I usually like to keep it loaded. I'm not sure uh, if it really matters, but I just, I guess I just think about the fact that if we ever come back and for some reason we're out of bells, I'm not even lined up right. We're ever out of bells, at least we have a whole trailer load to get us through until we get some bells uh, made. We should be able to come and cut this grass as soon as uh, as soon as it stops raining. Oh, I'm not back far enough. That's what's going on. Okay, there we go. Cover that back up. Drop that trailer right there. And All right, let's check our menu here. And see what else we need. Okay, hay, hay silage or hay pellets and grass. I'm not sure sure if I need to utilize get another trailer I can't remember if I put one down here for hay and grass oh there it is hay and grass can go in that Oop. that's not good should still be able to hook up to it but didn't really want to hit it <laughs> All right, I'm not sure. I think all we've got over here is grass. So we'll have to get a bale for hay. Yeah, and we don't have a whole lot of that. I think that ought to be enough for what we're doing. Don't want to put too much in here because we'll just have to turn around and bring it right back.
think the weather forecast said uh, three o'clock or so we should be running out of this rain. Oh, up over that curb. <laughs> curb. Okay, so we just had enough. Excuse me there. I think we'll have to come around this side so we can unload this back into that barn for grass storage, I guess. over here and park this trailer or uh, gravity wagon I mean we'll kind of park it over here I can't be good on those tires So we'll park that right there. We'll go inside here and see if we can't uh, get us a load of hay. Or a bell of hay. All right, let's go in and see what we got going on. Go ahead and set this over in front of the the hay spot. I think that's going to be this one down here, even though it's green. I think it's hay, straw, and silage. reason I'm putting it over here is I'm not sure if I left it on there and loaded up that bale over there if it would be able to carry it. Alright, we'll leave that right there and take this Pay off for it. Let me run up here and order a bale of hay. So, straw hay. There we go. Confirm. Way down there. Not sure why I bought the other bale spike right there. Because this hay thrower or bale throwers, shredder, whatever you want to call it, came with a spike. So I'm not exactly sure unless I already had that spike from before I had the bale shredder. Sometimes getting it in the right view is a little difficult for me. I've never checked to see if this automatically shreds it when you if you try to place it over the top of it. Surely not. No. And I'm not going to dump it in there because then I'd never get it out.
All right, so what I'll do, I'll go ahead and dump as much as I can. Into the silage, uh, forage mix, or I guess a TMR mixer. We'll throw as much as we can in there. Yeah, see, it won't. I don't have the weight on. That's what I don't have. Thank. You. We're still high enough up that it's unloading. Stop it right there. See if the. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way. I'm not sure where that's at. I thought I left it down here, but apparently not. So let's go back up to the top. Sitting right over there. Get through all these cows. And again, maybe that's not it. I don't can't tell. Oh yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, why are you gonna go and do that? I'll tell you what, that is a bunch of bull. Now let's see if we can go lift that deal up and get it up high enough. And in case anybody out there is wondering, I am not doing straw for the cows during the uh, months, except for sp uh, not spring, but winter and fall. I will do, I do hay, I uh, straw because with seasons, unfortunately, the only way to get uh, slurry is to not feed or not to provide straw. So if I provide straw, all I would ever get is manure. And I like to have slurry because I take it to the BGA and turn it into digestate so that I can uh, spread it on the fields here. And then of course, whenever all that's gone, I have the manure to fall back on. But making the dige digestate, I get a little bit of money for it. And as a one-man show, everybody knows a little bit of money doesn't hurt. <laughs> Especially if we ever want to grow this farm and then, of course, uh, pay off whatever loans we have. I was just looking at that. I did not realize we had as many loans out as we do. But I think we're about a half a million in debt. Yeah, 500,000 right there. I could probably pay some of that back, but 
I would rather get at least to the point of harvest before I make any big money spending expenditure expenditures. Alright, let's lower that down, drop that. Look up to this hay. I mean, it's not even registering, it's barely having anything in it. And hopefully we have enough to fill whatever feeding requirements they have. Of course, I never looked to see if this gravity wagon can handle hay, but I'm assuming it could since it took it. See what that did. Ah, uh, that didn't even barely touch it. I don't think I'm gonna worry about doing any more right now. They've got the TMR, the uh, TMR in there, so I think technically they should feed off of that before they ever touch the hay or the uh, grass. And I'm sorry if that bothers anybody watching me drive through the cows. It bothers me too. But I don't know how to change the... The... I don't know what you would call it. The... The area where cattle spawn. Cow spawning spot or whatever that... However they say it. I don't know how to change and adjust all that stuff, so unfortunately, I can't really change all that. So we just have to at least try and be polite and honk our horn, yell, whistle, shout, scream, jump up and down, flash our headlights, whatever we can do to get those cows to move out of our way. But if they don't, ultimately, we just have to drive through them. But we got to get the job done. Oh, you know, that's a farming simulator thing. That's not real life. If I was in, if it was real life, I would obviously not try to drive through them. So don't call the ASPCA on me or anything. I'm just trying to play a game. <laughs> Let's see if I got enough room to walk. And I don't. I right, go figure. I don't want to hit those bells there because that took me forever to stack them like that. See, that's the thing that just makes me wonder. Why can't you walk through them? You can drive through them and all that, but you, you cannot walk through these cows. Wish you couldn't drive through them. It'd be nice to be able to have some kind of way to get out and poke them and get them to move. Here you come. And you're going to stop right there. That's just funny. Hello. Hey, look at that. I got leather seating. kind of disappointed I really wanted to get to planting on this particular episode but it don't look like we're gonna have that chance we're almost to the end of what we can accomplish right now 
I'll have to save it for tomorrow. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can't get up there to the pig farm, hog farm, whatever. Whoa! I'm gonna lose some traction here. I don't know what all that jumpiness is from. I wonder if we have some fields getting changing growth states. So I've heard that's what happens. Finding it very difficult to handle this thing right now. Probably got something to do with my uh, American truck simulator that I've been doing. Getting used to that steering and come to this game here and it's like a whole different braking, steering and all that is completely different. However, I've noticed with this particular steering wheel that wheel hop is not different. It's the same on American Truck Simulator as it is on Farming Simulator. The steering wheel just sits there and goes back and forth real wildly. I don't think this one will take near as long to check. I think we passed our entrance. Yeah, we did. I thought it was right after the bridge, but from the cab side view, I couldn't really see that too well. But look at all this beautiful grass we have to mow. And I'm sure our fields are just as ripe, ready to mow as this prairie grass is. I don't think it's going to take us near as long to do the feeding here. Let's get out and I think I've got the tractor over on that. Yeah, I do. Uh, might just go ahead and jump in the teleskid here. Not the teleskid, the skid steer. I think everything we're going to do, we could probably do with this particular piece of equipment. And since we do not have any kind of a way to put a weight on this particular skid steer. I know we're going to have to drop this over here because there is no way to raise this with this skid steer. So we just want to leave that and keep the forks. don't have any corn, wheat, or soybeans. So what exactly am I doing? <laughs> I just need to give them water. Yes. I might have to cut this part out. I didn't realize I was... what I was doing here. I, I was thinking I was feeding, but I forget that straw is for... Uh, manure production and again I don't want to give them any straw so 
basically we just kind of wasted some time in here okay we'll go over here and turn the water on and I think that's pretty much all we got to do yes because there's corn wheat barley soybean we don't have any of that as far as I remember okay so looking here see if I can remember I think it's under here corn we don't have anything we don't have barley and we don't have canola so we have nothing I hope we can make it to harvest with the food that the pigs have if not we might be forced to try to make a purchase of some sort pig food or something but we'll just have to keep an eye on that the intentions are right now that once we get these fields out here now let me go over here there's a field back over here that I'm going to use right now it's got uh, sugar beets in it because uh, other games I've played pigs needed sugar beets or potatoes or some kind of root crop so I went ahead and like a dummy I put sugar beets in this field right here and then realized I didn't need them so <laughs> anyhow so we got a load of sugar beets there that we can hopefully find someone to come along and collect them because i don't really want to buy the equipment just for one harvest i don't plan on getting into sugar beets it's just not the, the direction of this particular farm so i don't see any point in going and buying a bunch of the equipment we'll use one time but these bags right out here I'm going to use this as my storage at this farm. I just, I mean, we could buy grain bins, but I really just kind of want to have a different way of doing it here. Something unique and something a little out of the ordinary for a farm that has plenty of room for grain bins. But that field right there, field 11, this field right here, and then there's a little hidden field. I think I've shown it before on here. But there's a little hidden field that back here by these barriers you turn just before this utility pole and there's a field right there right now we got wheat in there so that field this one right over here to our right that one I believe has wheat also and then we have the sugar beets in that other field and then this uh, one to our left that I just showed you is needing to be planted so I think the plans are, let me look and see, but I think the plans are right now to plant barley in that field. So once all that comes up and we can start harvesting that, we'll have some food for our pigs. And of course, we'll still have the corn and the soybeans that we're planting here at the home farm and that all of our uh, other land, other fields that we own that we plant our cash crop, soybeans and corn being our cash crop. crop. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I guess we'll... Uh, come back when the rain stops and see if we can't get us some planting done because we need to get on that here pretty quick especially if we can do it the first day I really hate to think we're going to be going into nighttime planting but if that's what it takes then I guess that's what we'll have to do but until we meet again this is virtual farmer Ken Bob and we will see you later so have a great day out there and stay safe